Now we want to talk about some of the plugins that you're likely to use. These are the uh, more common ones that you're going to install on pretty much every blog you do. Now back to your site, under plugins, you can see it comes installed with two. You can delete Hello Dolly, you just click delete, it will come up, yes, delete them all, and then it's gone. That's not a plugin that you really want, it doesn't do anything useful, it's just there. Now here is uh, Akismet, this is one that you do want, you want to activate it and switch it on. It basically stops spam comments. It's very, very good. All you need to do is click here to enter your WordPress API key. And if you haven't got one, just click here and you can sign up for one. It's absolutely free. I'd recommend that you check that box too. So what we want to do now is add new. So under here, we're going to add some of the uh, um, plugins. So one of the first ones we want to add is all in one SEO that's all you need to add um, you search there it is we click install I'll we'll click install again and activate it now this is a very very useful one uh, again let's go to the admin page um, it basically is going to help your website become more SEO friendly by managing the uh, title description and keywords so enable it and then put a, a title description and keyword for your main page in. Uh, the rest of it you can leave as is. You don't need to mess with those. And then update options. Then when you go to uh, posts and add new, if we scroll down, we will see that there's um, the all-in-one SEO pack is here. So here you can put a title, description, and keywords specifically for that page. And that's going to help you significantly with your SEO. So if we go back to add new, you'll want, um, if we type all, all in one. Uh, Shut up! So what we're looking for here is we want to type in all-in-one AdSense. This is basically a good plugin for managing your AdSense adverts. All-in-one AdSense and YPN is the one we're looking for. And we just install and install again. And what this will do is this will automatically put AdSense or YPN, Yahoo Publishing Network adverts, into your posts. So it's a fantastic way of monetizing your blog automatically. So under here, I'm sorry, AdSense, settings AdSense and here we have it um, make sure you put your AdSense ID in here just put the numbers only um, select the type of advert you want text image or whatever the sizes you want here you can blend it in with your uh, site how many ad ads to show per page so remember you can only show a maximum of three so if you've got them elsewhere like in your sidebar you may want to lose that down how many you want to place in the post and where do you want to put it in the post so there's plenty of options there uh, on that so and this is a very very useful uh, plugin and it will automatically add AdSense in wherever you want so fantastic tool to use uh, next one we want is we want one called if we type in WP backup this is very important um, this one here's the one we're after install install again and basically what this will do if we, if we activate this is it will back up your WordPress database for you so under tools you can see we have a backup option and what I would recommend is you go to Gmail, you set yourself up a new account, and then you set the schedule back up, and then send it to a Gmail account somewhere. So um, set them all to go to a Gmail account and back up any of the extra tables here. And what this will do is this will make sure that you know, if something happens and a, a web host goes down or something, you haven't lost everything. You've got all of your... Um, your database so you can just restore the WordPress restore the plugin uh, plugins that you've installed the theme and then you've got your database back with all your posts so you haven't lost everything 
And uh, so that's very, very important. And the final one that I recommend to use is Google XML sitemaps. There's plenty of others that you could use as translation and all sorts that you could use if you wanted to, but it depends on what you're aiming for with your auto blog. One of the translation tools that would be very useful if you're aiming for an international market. Um, but Google XML sitemaps is particularly useful because what it does is you can see here it creates an XML sitemap and then it will submit it to Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Ask. So basically, it's going to get your website crawled and it's going to also notify the major search engines every time you create a post so you just install and then we just activate the plugin once it's activated as you can see there we go to settings and we go to xml sitemap and basically this is a good plugin to have um, you can notify Yahoo if you're going to apply for an application ID. Um, I wouldn't mess with anything else particularly here. Um, one thing you can change is you can change some of these if you want to. But personally, i will pretty much leave all of them um, as is. So um, again, I'd leave that as it is. These are obviously um, well thought out and you can see there's nothing else that massively needs changing so you can see that what this will do is it will automatically submit the XML sitemap to these search engines for you so it's a great way to get the search engines to your site and notify them of updates so it's very very useful uh, you can click here to build it the first time I would recommend um, doing this after you made a couple of posts if it hasn't already built one some web hosts will have a problem with this and um, you just got to manually create the files and upload them and change the permissions but those are the plugins that you want to use and um, there's plenty of others that you could use um, you know as I said there's translation software there's all tool uh, plugins to make everything look pretty uh, you can integrate with Twitter YouTube etc etc but you know you you will find which plugins you want to, to use and which ones you don't and it may depend upon the niches but those are some that are basically standard that you'll need so what I wanted to show you very quickly is about posts now if we go to posts and add new WordPress does have a feature that allows you to schedule future posts so it's almost like auto blogging within WordPress it's a very basic form of it so it's a very good way of using it if you're going to use this then you need to go and download a plugin called CB ping optimizer let me just write that in there CB ping uh, CB ping optimizer now this is good because what it does is it helps make the whole ping process a little bit better so it'll help um, with what we're going to show you so under publish immediately if you click edit you can see here you can change the date and time so what you can do is you can load up content for the next sort of two three weeks with this so you can upload like PLR articles and um, other things like that articles you've written content from other sites and upload it and just change the date and time on it it's a manual way of doing it it is time consuming um, but it will will work for you so if I put um, um, 15 in there you can see now it's saying it's scheduled to go at this time you click schedule instead of publish so that's a very very basic form of auto blogging what we're going to show you next is some more powerful tools that will really really help you to uh, take the auto blogging to the next level and make some good money from it